Hello everybody, my name is Step Penguin, and welcome to Penumbra Overture. Now, this was uh, one of the games I was debating on whether to do my first video on. Lost out to Craven Manor, but here I am doing a Let's Play for you right now because I'm so excited about this game. I I wanted to do this game, but I had played Craven Manor and it just kind of, kind of uh, took my attention away from this game. Anyway, I'm here to do this now, so uh, let's do a new game. I'm gonna play on normal because I can't do it, you know, any harder than that. My story began in February year 2000. For my part in this allegory, no. I'm not gonna make the same mistakes my father made. Howard vanished from my mother's life before I was even in it. So when he sent me a letter a few days after mom's funeral, it was the first I'd ever heard of him. What's that? But he was dead. Writing from beyond the grave must be a genetic habit in my bloodline. His letter contained a key, instructions, pleas for forgiveness. I figured the dead don't have much use for absolution, so I turned to his prophetic passing, which he inexplicably expected to come any day. <sighs> Clearly averse to explanations, my father preferred to leave directions to a bank on Mayfair I'd never even heard of. In that bank was a safety deposit box in his name, and myself as executor. Of course... I went as he knew I would. I discovered that despite the evidence, he'd been legally declared dead almost 30 years ago, and so the old book and collection of notes I found had, in the eyes of the law, been mine all this time. Hmm. My father's instructions were to burn the documents, raise no further questions. But that was his error. No man's immune to the shameful trappings of curiosity, and my humanity got the better of me. The university I taught at was world-renowned for two things, physics and linguistics. I represented the first, and the man who stood for the second was stumped by my recent acquisition. The book was indecipherable. The notes, however, showed a location somewhere in uninhabited northern Greenland. Ooh, Greenland. It took me almost a year to book the last flight I'd ever taken. As I watched civilization disappear along with Heathrow, I realised my father had disappeared three decades ago almost to the day, and I considered in turn what it was that I was leaving behind. We landed on a strip of ice a few feet wide, and within minutes I was pulling away on a chartered boat, beginning the 12-hour journey that would lead me into my past. Alright. Okay. Interesting. Let's get into it. No. Finally, we're almost docked. I better stow my gear. I may be far from home, but chances are I can still pack things. Pick things up. I'm using left mouse, I can hear a closer look at. I can take a closer look at things using the right mouse. I know how to read. I can read. I just get ahead of myself. Some things. All right. Whiskey empty shame. Always good to have a notebook to jot down interesting information and reminders. I think I left my torch in the desk drawer next to the bed. It can be opened using my left mouse on it, oh, holding the button down and moving the mouse. Okay. Oh, what's that? Can I pick you up? <laughs> Alright. No more messing around. Let's, let's do this. Oh. There we go. Flashlight switches on off via inventory tab, or hopefully F. Now where's that emergency glow stick? Should be in the locker key. I've got a key. Do I just use it automatically? Oh, I got double click. Probably told me that before, I just wasn't paying attention. Alright. And some batteries. There we go. Batteries for my flashlight. There should be everything I need. I should get go in before it's a dark. As I stepped off the boat, setting out into the blizzard that formed around me, I realized how utterly devoted I'd been to the discovery of my father's past. I had no idea what to expect. 
Soon enough, my concerns were justified. I don't know whether I lost my orientation or my spirit first, but I lost feeling in my extremities soon after. A new hypothermia was setting. I started looking for shelter. Click to continue. You would never find me in this place, by the way. I don't. I don't do cold. Oh, it's so cold. I don't know why I don't know why. Okay. I don't do cold. Oh, there's some shift is weird. I had one long, long ago. I can tell you the way I'm past. There's some kind of animal in distance! I'm gonna die. There's gonna be a wolf. I'm gonna die. Okay. I'm freezing to death. Is there something I need back here? So, I'm assuming because we're in Iceland, or Greenland, not Iceland, I need to go, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I am too pro for this game. Too pro. Oh, no, oh, this way. Where does it go? Is it unlocked? Oh, it's unlocked already. <laughs> wow. Alright. Okay, I uh, take that back. Take that back. I am not pro enough for this game. Qu quite the opposite. I am not pro at all. No. I think I just fell. Excuse me? Jesus, my head, I can't believe I fell that far and survived. Although, looking around, maybe I didn't. What is this place? It's not that far. Every looking barrel could be anything inside of it. I need something to smash it with it. Empty box of ammunition. What is this place? I know what this place is. It's a heavy looking wooden barrel. I can think of inside of it. It's a. It's a. Uh, Ooh, what's this? A flare! Ooh, a little pipe. Can I use that pipe? To... No? Oh! Number keys. Let's put that right there, number one. Oh, I can't use it to smash anything? Okay, sorry, I thought you could just smash that barrel with the, the, that pipe you have. Uh, Alright. Ooh, a hammer. Let's see, I can swing this hammer if I hold the left mouse. I can make a back swing by pulling the mouse right and then follow through by pushing it left. The opposite works too, pulling it back and then thrusting forward produces a stabbing motion. Okay. I work it out if I hold down or else mouse. I reckon if I hold down right mouse after backswing, I should be able to look around. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and place. No? Okay, I'll go ahead and put it on number two. Aha. Yeah. Oops. Aw, oh, yeah. I am so strong. So pro. Look at that. Hiya. Wah. Wah. Aw, oh, yeah. whoa. That was weird. My mouse got my uh, mouse cord got caught on something. Anyway, hiya. Ah. What the? Ooh. I'm a kung fu master. All right. Ha. 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 No. All right. Oh, look at that. What the? What the? Hiya. Higher. Higher. Can I move that? Whoa. Oh, oh, oh! I am so good. Ooh. It's all blue now. What was that? What's up here? 
I'm not ready to go over there just yet. I'll go this way. I don't like the way that door looked. Looked at my foot. What the hell? Oh, it's a big circle. I see. Okay, well, I guess I have to go here. Looks like some kind of industrial mechanism. Although there's a hole in the center and no way to operate it. Ah! I know how to operate. Let's go, shall we? Whatever I was sending into, it was 100 feet below ground, protected by two solid metal hatches located in a remote Arctic wilderness and buried beneath the snow. I didn't know what to expect, but it made me feel something I hadn't felt since I was a child. I'd never given it much thought before, but I realized that our entire society is a network of safety nets, emergency services at the end of a phone line, health and safety in the workplace, friends, family, lovers, all there. When something goes wrong, part of a carefully designed structure to prevent all but the most mundane of emotions. Once again, I felt like I did when I was in school, surrounded by a closing rig of older kids, knowing anyone that might help me, friends, parents, teachers, were too scared or too far away. Okay, click to continue. I've jotted down a note just in case. Okay, okay. I don't. I don't. I don't like the looks of this. What was that? There could be anything living down here. Heroics before Hollywood actions and fairy tales. I'm not taking any chances. If I face off against anything down here, I won't be. I won't last a second. Caution! I'll stop them. my only defense now. If anyone or anything hears me, I'd be best off staying low and out of sight until I know whether it. Whether or not it's safe to read. Whether or not it's a threat. God. Crouching and pressing left control will give me the chance to hide in the shadows. I'll know I've got it right because of the blue tent in my vision. Plus, I should be quiet enough that I won't be hurt unless something's right on top of me. Better remember to shut off my light switches. Though. So, pretty much, it's telling me if there's danger, I should be like my Skyrim character. Oops. My best bet is to hide for a couple of seconds or so. Perfectly still. Like that, I'll be virtually invisible, and after some time, I should get my night vision back, provided I stay still. Okay. I don't. I got a hammer! I'll smack you in the face. What's over here? Oh. I can't open doors with my hammer out? That's weird. But I'm not going to judge. I mean, I, I am judging, but. Backstreet. Uh, Birch Tree, Airstrip, Zulu Weekly Report. Zulu? I know who Zulu is. Another unremarkable week in Greenland. Regular supply shipment received. Standard emergency drills carried out. Routine runway main routine runway maintenance completed. I have ordered maintenance to be carried out twice weekly from here on in due to increased snowfall. One wounded. Um, the one wounded figure is no cause for turning back in London. The Germans haven't extended their front line by 4,000 miles. Two of my men were caught manufacturing cherry bombs in our workshop slash armory and succeeded in blowing off a couple fingers. That is fantastic. I take partial responsibility for this and that I allow them access to the demolitions manual we keep in the storeroom and I'm sure that's where they learned the ingredients. As a precautionary measure, I now have locked up that manual in the chest in my office and will keep it on my own person at all times. Needless to say, both men have been disciplined and the injured man has been sent home for medical care. I cannot help but think that a more suitable punishment would have been for him to stay out, of, out here, but the matter is out of my hands. This base is so disconnected sometimes, I feel as if this war could end, and we might not even hear about it out here. Uh, supply triggers is ordered dynamite, seven bayonets, not, not necessary in my opinion, but procedures is we should have full complement. One industrial ice pick, one pair of reading glasses, category 7C, in order for myself, my glasses are in rather poor state of repair and could be replacing. 
reconditioning of the mine continues to progress. The structure is being fortified from potential bomb damage. An excavation of pro previously caved in areas is going ahead. One point of curiosity is some kind of archaeological find artifact buried in the earth. I discovered by one of the work teams later this evening after martial duty. I shall take a closer look at the artifact. It appears to be man-made and may have working parts inside. I shall remove what looks like the front cover and see if I can discover the source of the light which constantly emanates from it. Chief NCO M Major. That was really long. Um... I hope I don't have to read things that long again. Nothing. 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 Oh, there's a key. Give me that. Copenhagen Post, Monday, 17th of August, 1930. Researchers at the University of Copenhagen have suggested that mine altering chemicals naturally sown into the rock may be the cause of high suicide rates at a Greenland mine. The university, which has recently been conducting studies into isolated communities first, became interested in the workers of Northwestern lead Lead Mine last year. They discovered that even taking into account Greenland's naturally high nat tr yeah, naturally higher suicide rate, local figures for the last 100 years are abnormally high. Now 46 deaths per 100,000 populace compared to the national average of 29. On further investigation, Experts diagnosed in many of the minor symptoms in common with the early stages of paranoid schizophrenia. This has prompted researchers to hypothesize that natural deposits of lysergic acid, a pH 4 formula recently discovered to have huge hallucinogenic properties, may be present in the rocks. Few locals are, uh, were conductive to interview, but those who agree to spread, to speak, to spread, to speak, have their own explanations in your spirit zone as the to gate live in the mountains the university is awaiting the results of chemical testing and studies continue awesome that's oh actually I'm gonna check the rest of the drawers first because you might never know what kind of goodies are in those drawers a man an old man clutching something unseen he is strange and yet he is no stranger Never seen before, still I know. This man before me is Howard. I call him father. Ugh! What happened? What just happened? I don't know if that was such a good idea. <laughs> okay. I don't know why I'm looking at those. I can't see anything. Oh, what is this? Beef jerky. Yum! Beef jerky. Does that give me health? Do I even have health in this game? I have no idea. Oh, more beef jerky. I go. Ooh, what is that? Painkillers? Oh, a flag. Ah. Oh, I have a key. Aha! Explosive manual. Big book of explosives, 1923 edition. Oh. I want to read. Um, black match fuse. A black match fuse is one of the oldest, simplest, and most reliable fuses used in modern pyrotechnics. It is easy to create, essentially consisting of just string and gunpowder. But be warned, the chemicals concerned will stain clothing. And as always, um, do concern is advised. Materials require string, black gunpowder, backstring. String should be coated with a thin layer of backstring, which acts as an adhesive. The string is then carefully rolled in the gunpowder and left to dry at least a couple of minutes before use. Dynamite, invented by Alfred Noble in 1866. Dynamite is commonly used in construction, mining, and demolition as proved far safer to handle than alternatives such as pure nitroglycerin, provided that is it has been properly stored. Over time, the explosive component of dynamite, supposedly made safe by the presence of uh, diatomaceous earth, has a tendency to weep, making an old box of explosives liable to detonate on contact. Ooh, did I know that? 
Uh, materials required one part uh, diatomaceous earth, three parts nitroglycerin, one amount of sodium carbonate. Text unreadable and then simply form into small sticks and wrap in paper. It's probably unreadable because they don't want people making explosives from this game. TNT. Um, Trinitrotolune. TNT was first discovered in 1863 by German chemist Joseph Wilbrin, but it took some years before it yielded its true potential. This was because of the difficulty making it explode and the lesser detonation in comparison to dynamite. The main advantage was discovered by the German Navy, who employed TNT as explosive relative explosive stability in order to cause massive damage to British warships. The torpedoes could be detonated inside a ship's armor rather than exploding on contact, as did other shells. And I'm not going to read that. So much reading. I think I'm done in here. So far, nothing has popped out at me. But I know. I know. Just based on the. Re oh, God. I got a rock. Oh, God. Go away, go away, go away, go away. Jesus, I don't even this game in my life. I can feel my heart racing. I'm going to get the more. It's part of my brother. It's alright, I can't think of my brother. It's my brother. And then I'm a goner! Ugh. I got a rock! I know how to use it. Oh, good. Come at me, bro. <sighs> I didn't even need, like, the thing to say, crouch. That's just, like, my... My auto reflex there like from because in Skyrim I like to play as a uh, sneaky archer rogue assassin so that's just like my my default storage room let's go to the storage room <laughs> that freaked me out like no I wasn't expecting that no way all right well I should be fine let's get inside this storage room and I think I'm gonna have to call it quits uh, after I load into um, into this room so uh oh boy that was that was fairly intense. All right, well, uh, that'll be all for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and click that like button as hard as you can. Come, subscribe, and pay one. I don't know what I was about to do. Ah, you can't do that. You just teleported. You can't do that. Ah, stop it. You suck. Where'd you go?